Okay guys, back on part three of the trestle bridge. I'm going to paint the trestles a tan, which is a tan army colour, if you can read that. It's just a light tan colour. So that's the end of that part. I'll show you in the next part. Okay guys, back on part three of the trestle bridge. And I'm going to paint the trestles a tan, which is a tan army colour, if you can read that. It's just a light tan colour. So that's the end of that part, I'll show you in the next part. Okay guys, I'm going to paint the lake area, I'm going to paint it with a green undercoat, the whole lot. It's not going to be green, but just to get rid of the white and then I'll paint it the other colours that I'm going to paint, because I'm also going to put more rocks and sand like the roadbed. So I'm not going to dilute this with water or anything because I want it to really cover. As I said, it's just to get rid of the white. And as you can see how, well, how I'm applying it on it, you can still see the white, so once this dries, I'll have to give it another coat. colours I'm going to be using will be black and slate grey. 
and obviously the, the gravel. So I'll just keep finishing that. Okay guys, I've put my beams up underneath the bridge. These are just holding the beams up. Now, the reason being, the trestles will be glued to the side and top. Next step will be to put all the trestles up, but I'm going to also paint this first before I put all the trestles up. So I'll paint it first. We'll see what she okay, looks guys, like. I'm going to paint the base black. Not all of it, just the mage. So I want it to look really deep, so that's why I'm using the black. You know, try and lighten it up a bit on the edges in some places too. under the bridge, like near the centre of the bridge anyway. It's still going to look dark as in deep water. And then on the sides I'll be still having uh, the gravel. And the water will still be on the gravel, but just looking shallow. I didn't want to use brown so I thought black will make it look nice and deep So that's probably as much as deep water I'm going to have, I think. And the rest will be sort of a... I might paint it all black. Because I'm going to... The gravel is going to cover it anyway. Just to use up all this paint. Notice it's just not totally black with that green underneath. But when that dries, I'll, I'll see what it looks like. I'm definitely going to put some, just some lighter shades near the, where it, it's not going to be deep. So by 
I'm looking at it. It doesn't look too bad, actually. So we'll let that dry and have a look. Okay, guys, the second coat's down. As you can see, it's just in the middle of the bridge. And at the back is where I want it completely dark. But down the sides here, it doesn't matter, it's going to have gravel anyway. Okay guys, back on the trestle bridge again. I've decided now to gravel the base the whole lot. Now I've sieved all the gravel really light, so but I'm still going to paint it black. Just to cover these small holes. So the gravel I'm now using, which is sieved to right up, is really fine. So I'm going to put that on the layer. Okay guys, all the gravel's been laid. Now this part of the gravel that I've laid will still be painted black. It was just to get the imperfections out of the board. And the blackboard on the evis left and right will be gravelled too, but won't be painted. So I've just got to wait for that to dry to paint it.